In today's video, we got a 60 inch Vizio Smart TV that when you turn it on, you get a light and you get a quick dim blip of the logo and then nothing. But there's still an image uh, going on without the backlight on. So we have a backlight problem. Let's dig in. And now that the panel's out of the way, you can see it has several bad LEDs. It has uh, a couple, about three or so over here that are not lighting. I'm going to take uh, strips out and take a closer look at them individually. So I paused the video that I just took. I paused it with the lights on. This panel has 12 bad LEDs. It has one bad LED on every single strip. Every single strip has one bad LED. This is the first time I've seen this. This is quite something. Um, originally I was planning on just uh, replacing the defective ones. Um, I might not have that many. Wow. Now the smart thing to do would be to order up Replacement backlight strips uh, and replace all of the strips with some better upgraded strips uh, from a place like Shop Jimmy or something like that. But unfortunately, Shop Jimmy is out of stock on these strips. So the only other option I have is to uh, either wait, wait until they get some in or rebuild the strips from the TV and um, so I'm rebuilding the strips um, it's not a matter of if they'll fail but when they will fail again where's my flips there it is so I know I'm going to be doing this again hopefully this will get me through long enough that uh by the time these go out again, hopefully I'll be able to have a replacement um, replacement solution, whether it's from a TV, different TV, or from a place like Shop Jimmy. Problem is I have other replacement strips, I just don't have the right count of LEDs. Uh, to keep the driver happy, I want to match the number of LEDs. Oh, and one other thing, these sneaky, sneaky guys did here. Normally with LED strips, you get these little test points right here where you don't have to remove the lens to get to the LEDs, but you can just hit the test points and check the LED. These dots here are not test points. Um, they're tied to nothing. So the only way to uh, test the LEDs, since you really can't get to the solder joints, is to dig in through the uh, uh, through the coating here, the uh, solder mask type stuff. There, see. So there we know the LED is making a connection, and if I go to the test points, test points are tied to nothing. Sneaky, sneaky. I don't know why they would do that. Anyways, I have about what's here, six, twelve more strips to go, something like that. Give this a quick bath. And then I can just super glue uh, the lens back on. Eh, a little finicky to get this set right, but I think I got it. Uh, I'm using 2.7 volts here. It's drawing about 
50 milliamps, 60 milliamps, just enough to, to test it. Okay, all the LED strips repaired. Let me see if I can find the on button and give this thing a try. Okay, and all of the LEDs are lit. And this TV does appear to have, uh, I think they call it active backlight dimming. Uh, as you can see, they're controlled independently depending on what the screen is doing. Pretty soon it'll shift over. Probably say right here, it's probably saying uh, no signal. So that's why it's brighter in the middle and darker on the edges. And then it'll shift over up to the corner just being bright. Um, the adaptive dimming probably works out in this TV's favor because each strip is controlled independently. So if an LED in the strip fails, you just lose the one strip instead of the entire set of backlights. Usually TVs, either they're all in series or an entire section is in series. And when one LED goes bad, the whole thing shuts off. But with the adaptive uh, backlight dimming, it just loses one strip. So that probably explains why uh, this TV was just run and then run and run until each strip finally failed to the point where there was absolutely no backlight uh, backlight left and that's probably when the original owner dumped it off at the recycle shop that I picked it up from. And here it is all reassembled with the patched together LED strips. Now I did find uh, some replacement LEDs if you're feeling uh, ambitious and want to replace every single LED to get rid of these uh, duds that are in there they are you'll need 30 by 30 uh, surface mount LEDs uh, I found some from a seller from China you can get a hundred of them for less than 10 bucks and I will uh, put up a screenshot right here and uh, well that's it for this video thanks for watching